because we were discussing about it and then thought this should also be taught to you people so just a little bit about nakshatras to basic point is ki <coughs> one simple statement one word statement should be there the way that nakshatra is being used nowadays is very ignorant people are very ignorant of nakshatras in fact even the depth of nakshatras saying ashwini rules ketu ashwini is ruled by ketu rather than helping is handicapping the astrologer according to me because then there is a lot more and once you get ashwini is ruled by ketu you you cannot have that you don't go into that other things right so like rashi's nakshatra are into classification this the one that i am sharing the table right now is a very ancient division almost the first division regarding nakshatras like rashi's is divided into movable fixed dual and all of this nakshatras are divided into in these seven categories these are called rasas okay rasas emotion right rasha as in dance emotion you know vedas many people may argue that vedas don't talk of astrology at least predictive astrology once again ignorance but okay the basic point is planet planets rule over what basically rasas these rasas which means juices technically means emotions compels you to do something and these are the basic yeah these are the basic rasas right first is dhruva what is also known as thira this means fixed okay the meaning is important dhruva or fixed fixed work is good uttara falguni uttara shada uttara bhadra prad rohini specifically these nakshatras are very good if they are falling on a sunday but just leave the weekday part nakshatra is the point nakshatras are very important because these indicate non destructible karma and to give you a hint just a one liner i use them a lot in predictive natal astrology also natal astrology also it have much uses that's why i started with just stopping ashwini ruled by ketu is a handicap that we suffer that but we don't know <clears throat> so dhruva stira fixed nakshatra are uttara falguni uttara shada uttara bhadra rohini what it gives fixity the same thing that a fixed sign gives you so prashna wise if someone is asking you will i travel the most important nakshatra is the moon nakshatra as a thumb rule moon nakshatra is the most important nakshatra ascendant nakshatra you cannot ignore ascendant is more minute but sages knew that ascendant is more minute you are not new to know this right but still they give importance to the moon nakshatra so certainly in prashna of course you can say moon nakshatra right but then once again the approach that i go with in natal astrology the same approach you can go in prashna also for example if the, if someone is talking about can i sell this property fourth lord you will see and if the fourth lord goes into stir nakshatra uttara falguni uttara shada uttara bhadra and rohini they cannot sell it the property is fixed it cannot be sold foreign travel will happen no it will not happen i am fearing termination will i be terminated this is fixed no you will not be terminated so answer should be chosen accordingly in this scenario what may happen my way of preference is moon first if moon is not giving answer you say then you go to the house lord nakshatra if house lord nakshatra is not giving the answer then you go to the ascendant nakshatra if ascendant nakshatra is not giving the answer then ultimately you can go to significator nakshatra okay got my point because what can happen what why what do i mean by it cannot give answer for example you say so you can fit answer into everything right you can fit answer but if you don't have that expertise because fitting comes with expertise you know become becoming a plumber is a very expertise work for example someone is asking for travel then nakshatra is krura nakshatra ugra or krura that means cruel krural nakshatra purva falguni purva bhadra purva shada bharani and magha 
ध्रुवल नक्षत्र इफ समन इज आस्किंग कैन आई ट्रेवल दिस इंडिकेट्स दैट इट इज अ क्रूअल वर्क द पर्सन इज ट्रेवलिंग फॉर सम क्रूअल वर्क सो मे बी टू किल समन थ्रेटन समन और एनी सच क्रूअल वर्क फॉर दैट एग्जाम्पल बट इट डज नॉट आंसर शुड यू ट्रेवल और नॉट सो बिकॉज स्थिर दैट मीन्स फिक्सड एंड चर दैट मीन्स मूवेबल ओनली दीज टू इंडिकेट शुड यू ट्रेवल और नॉट so in this case whatever the nakshatra is that nakshatra is not a, not you know not not in a position to give you an answer then you will go to this preference table that i told you right moon house lord ascendant and one of them should indicate the answer at least otherwise don't use this technique go to another one right chala चल चर मूवेबल नक्षत्र आजार स्वाति पुनर्वसु श्रवण धनिष्ठा सता विषय राइट मूवेबल नक्षत्र क्रुवल नक्षत्र पूर्वा फाल्गुनी पूर्वा भद्रा पूर्वा शाड़ा भरमी मघा मिश्र मिक्सेड नॉर्मल नक्षत्र आजार कृतिका विशाखा सो मिक्सेड रिजल्ट इट गिव्स द लायमा डुअल इट इज लाइक डुअल साइन शिप्रा लघु स्मॉल लघु मीन्स स्मॉल राइट things where things happen quickly or things do not uh, you know sustain for long that chitra nakshatra is ashwini pushya hasta and abhijit mrdu that means sweet maitra that means friendly friendly nakshatra azar mrgashira chitra anuradha and revati tikshna that means spicy darun which means pain giving nakshatra azar mula jeshta adra and asalesha right normally taking horoscope sanjay uh, just one query uh, say moon and the uh, house lord this is not following in uh, chala or chada and the question is for in travel but the ascendant is following so is there any weightage you will say like moon means 100% he will go and fourth lord going say 80% this is if the moon and fourth lord hmm. is in sthir Mm. Ascendant is in chair. Then, so we are giving weightage to moon first. Mm. So, still no travel. The moon and uh, fourth lord is in some other one. Ha, so then, then to leave it. Then take nature. Ascendant is chala. That means in that indicates travel will happen. Moon is in lagu. So mm. travel will happen, but for very short duration. And the you say fourth lord goes into maitra. so travel will happen for very short duration but it will be friendly you will meet your friend this will be good okay so this way we have to make a sentence out of the thing clear yeah <clears throat> so natal chart wise what may happen seventh lord is going into uttara falguni uttara shada uttara bhadra rohini it is istra nakshatra fixed nakshatra one person loves a person and you, know, you love your life partner and you will keep on loving them for a life time Right, so it is, it is a fixed relationship. The person wants fixity in relationship. He is not very welcoming to change. Movable nakshatra seventh lord goes to swati punar vasu sravan dhanishta satvisha. The person is moved. This does not mean he will keep on changing the life partner. That will happen in this mishra. Mish or mixed is you know sometimes person is on, sometimes the person is off type of a scenario. at some time he like you some time he starts disliking you this is kritika vishaka seventh lord in kritika vishaka kritika or vishaka movable swati purarvasu sravan dhanishta sat vishaya is this person wants a lot of movement in marriage the person wants that the partner should be doing the efforts otherwise it will not be enjoyable for him he constantly wants to travel with life partner he constantly wants to enjoy with life partner he wants change every day he frequently wants to go on travel etc Seventh Lord in Purva Falguni, Purva Badra, Purva Shada, Bharni Magha indicates life partner is cruel, cruel. Right? Seventh Lord in Ashwini Pushya Hast Abhijit indicates it is lagu small. So first of all, marriage happens very quickly. Secondly, it sustains for a short time only. After this short time, either divorce happens or the life partner lose interest in each other and they continue start living as a friends. the interest the epitome the enjoyment period what you say is not there for long seventh lord in mrgashira chitra anuradha revati very good maitra nakshatra couple is friendly towards each other love each other care for each other 
सेवेंथ लॉर्ड गोज टू मूला ज्येष्ठा अद्रा और असलेशा इट इज दारून नक्षत्र राइट दिस इज पेन गिविंग नक्षत्र तो मैरिज इज पेन गिविंग लाइफ पार्टनर इज पेन गिविंग है ना दे मे क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम देर देर वर्क मे कॉज यू शेम इन द सेम मैनर द प्लैनेट इन डिफरेंट नक्षत्र आर वेरी यूजफुल इन नेटल चार्ट ऑल्सो एंड इन प्रश्न ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एंशियंट डिविजन इन नक्षत्र and before the introduction of rashis in astrology this was very much in use this is almost backbone and i can confidently say 65% of nakshatra in whatever way nakshatras have been used in the past by ancient sages this is 65% of that that's a very huge amount one technique getting more than 5% weightage is too much This is sixty-five. This is a twenty-eight nakshatra you are using there. This is twenty-eight nakshatra scheme, but now it can be omitted out because it is also used for mahurtas. No, this is also used for mahurtas, so now it is also okay. used. But we can omit out until and unless it is an equal division, Sanjay ji, we can throw it out. And one more, one nakshatra less, one nakshatra more does not matter much. Yeah. अधोमुखी इज डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग उर्दमुखी इज अपवर्ड फेसिंग त्रियक मुखी इज साइड वेज फेसिंग सो नक्षत्र कोर्स वॉट आई टोल्ड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट देन यू एन अंडरस्टैंड इट इज अप्रोच अधोमुखी डाउनवर्ड लुकिंग मीन्स वॉट से प्रोफेशन टेंथ लॉट अधोमुखी डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग मीन्स पर्सन इज कंप्लीटली फोकस्ड ऑन देअर वर्क दे आर लुकिंग डाउनवर्ड सो शेम गिल्ट इट इंडिकेट्स so some shameful things some guilt related things will happen thinking about the past thinking about family thinking about ancestry these things will happen downward looking now what a downward looking person signifies if there is a downward looking person standing in front of you what will you understand these nakshatras mula aslesha kritika vishakha purva falguni purva shada purva bhadra bharni magha urdhmukha upward facing is very optimistic person who is thinking who is doing something thinking what will happen in future result oriented positive thinker if the 10th lord is there in profession if the 7th lord is there in marriage if the lagna lord is there generally by nature if the moon is there then also generally by nature ascendant is there then also generally by nature person is basically a mixture of ascendant nakshatra moon nakshatra and the nakshatra occupied by ascendant lord mixture of the three These upward looking nakshatras are Adra, Pushya, Shravan, Dhanishta, Satabisha, Uttra, Falguni, Uttra, Shada, Uttra, Badra, Rohini. The Adra person is always Adra person, Satabisha person is always focused on what is happening in future. They are visionaries. If they are doing something, they are doing with an with an intention that if I do it today, tomorrow this will happen. Right? Tiriyag Mukhi is sideways looking. Sideways looking person is the one who wants, who is trying to run away from the responsibility. You say, and who rather than being interested in his own work is interested in the work of others. This is what is sideways looking person, not focused, in dilemma, in confusion, is sideways looking. This is Nakshatra, Zar, Mirgashira, Revati, Chitra, Nuradha, Hasta, Swati, Punarvasu, Jeshta, and Ashwin. These are the sideways looking nakshatras. For different house lords in these nakshatras, so I told you right now, right? In the same manner, you say in prashna also. What is the approach of the native? What the native is wanting to have right now? What the native is expecting? You see, you see using this. Generally, what happens? The expectation of the person is very clear because he is asking a question. But this is for the hidden intention. what is the hidden intention of the person for example someone is asking regarding promotion let's say why he wants a promotion if the 10th lord goes into mula nakshatra he is asking for promotion because he is looking downwards and he thinks that he is not able to look after his you know family members downward facing looking after family members he is shameful that he is not able to provide enough money contribute enough money to his family that he should be able to downward looking shame 
upward looking 10th lord goes into adra nakshatra person is optimistic about future he thinks that i have more experience i deserve more that's why i should get a promotion sideways looking mirgashira etc 10th lord goes into mirgashira because the person is spending a lot of his money into investment paying loan gambling etc anything as such he is exhausting his money very quickly and now he is looking for another source of income which he is not getting so now he is looking for a rise or the question itself may be related to a secondary thing that my job is going fine can i do stock market alongside this my job is doing fine my job is fine what else do you suggest right so this indicates the mental tendency of the native also right why someone is wanting something it indicates that also and once again highly used right generally speaking if you are going to do something which is related to the sky launching a rocket etc urdhmukhi nakshatra you will use if you are going to do something that is digging under the ground the mining etc adhmukhi nakshatra you have to choose purchasing a car etc which is to be done on earth purchasing the car or anything as such you will roam in the car around gardening etc tiryagmukhi nakshatra sideways is what you will prefer right if you are making a home you want to make you want the home to make high rise urdhmukhi nakshatra you have to if you are digging digging the ground to lay the foundation in adhmukhi nakshatra you have to start digging so this way this is used in mahurta but only using it in mahurta is limiting the you know limiting the greatness of our sages and the system that they have developed it. so according to me that should be this is very important and mand kana sulochan i think for carolin i should do something i should take a snip and write english names along with it and means blind okay mand means low eyesight so almost blind night blind you can say kaana means one eye and sulochan means beautiful eye su means beautiful lochan is eye when you use it generally lost found where it is most important lost found thing prashna is asked i have lost my phone will i find it rohini pushya uttara falguni vishakha purva shada danishta revti nakshatra blind you will not find it mirgashira aslesha hast uttara shada sat vishashuni nakshatra low eye sight you will know the whereabouts where it is but cannot find it adra magha chitra jeshta abhijit purva bhadra prad bharni nakshatra one eye partial recovery पुनर्वसु पूर्व फाल्गुनी स्वाति मूला श्रवण उत्तरा भद्रा कृतिका फुल रिकवरी लॉस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी फाउंड द पर्सन हु हैव लेफ्ट होम विल कम बैक यू से इफ समवन इज हैविंग एन आईडिया कि आई एम प्लानिंग टू स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस दिस इज माय बिजनेस आईडिया विल इट बी सक्सेसफुल इफ द 10th लॉर्ड इज गोइंग इनटू दिस नक्षत्रस पर्सन इज ब्लाइंड इग्नोरेंट अबाउट रियलिटी द आईडिया मे नॉट वर्क राइट मंद नक्षत्र आईडिया इज करेक्ट working on the idea will not be how it should be so because of working there will be problem kaana nakshatras one can set up the company can initially earn money but it is not long lasting so lochan nakshatras very good great success right the same can be see the same can be interpreted anywhere if you can one can talk about spouse also blind nakshatras spouse is not beautiful to look at low eyesight nakshatra wife is having good nature but not that beautiful one eyed nakshatra beautiful as per normal standards beautiful eyed nakshatra sulochan nakshatra is very beautiful the child the husband the mother the father so beauty regarding also it can be too so in any area wherever it seems suitable it can be used okay now next point Yes. 
this is one more set. You know, this is also very useful. Success. If someone is comparing, will I be more successful than this person X, Y, Z? Then Akul is not successful. Kul is successful. Kula Kul is partial in your area. Someone is asking, I am starting a business. My family also have a business, separate business. Will I be able to surpass them? Ashwini, Kritika, Mirgishira, Punarvasu, Aslesha, Purva, Falguni, Hast, Swati, Anuradha, Uttara, Shada, Shravan, Uttara, Badra, Revati. No, you will not be able to surpass. Barni, Rohini, Pushya, Maga, Uttara, Falguni, Chitra, Vishakha, Jeshta, Purva, Shada, Danishta, Uttara, Purva, Badra, Prad. Yes, you will be able to surpass. Adra, Mula, Abhijit, Satvisha. There is no question of surpassing, etc. They are working in different area. You are working in different area. You are successful in your own regard. They are successful in their own regard. Like you cannot compare mango with banana. Right? So this is regarding success. Will I be more successful than this person? Will I get a wife beautiful than my girlfriend? And any such comparison related question should be answered using it. In this scenario also, generally what is done, the ascendant of the native is taken and the ascendant of the, like, for example, anyone who is born in Bharni, Rohini, Pushya, Magha, Uttara, Falguni, Chitra, Vishaka, Jishta, Purva, Shada, Drishta, Purva, Badra, Prat, is generally more successful or very successful than the level of success that is there in their family otherwise. More successful than their family members. In the condition when it is comparing between two siblings or two people, you should you should see which nakshatras they are into. For example, one born in Ashwini, another born in Bharni, the one born in Bharni will be more successful as compared to the one who is born in Ashwini. Generally, success in life. The person who is born in Bharni can also go through bad dasha, antar dasha, can also have losses in life and all of this is there. But general success I am talking. Okay. So here you use the ascendant nakshatra when you compare. In, in natal horoscope ascendant nakshatra, prashna yeah. to moon. Prashna is moon, natal. Natal. And what about the dogati murta nakshatra? Dogati murta nakshatra is Carolyn important. After I ascendant, use... it should be our prep. After ascendant, what? it should be. Natal horoscope, to it have a lot to say. So this mm -hmm. is Mahurta wise, right? So basically this Dogati Mahurta Nakshatra, the prime uses is to see if the birth is beneficial or not. Yes. Once we have decided that the birth is beneficial, we have taken the nature of the Lord, that nature is present in the native. For predictive purpose, it do not have much uses as such. No, for, for this one, for the... Kula Kula. The, yes. Yeah, so if Kula Nakshatra basic better quality. Mm -hmm. The Dogati Mahurta is quality. Yes. So if we are comparing, rather than comparing the worldly success, if we are comparing the qualities, humanitarian qualities, then we should go with Dogati Nakshatra. The Kula one is more humanitarian as compared to a Kula one. One more thing is there. Ashwini, Punarvasu, Hasta and Abhijit are Vaishinakshatras that indicate business. Okay. Business should be done. Mula, Adra, Swati, Shatavisha, Nakshatra is Krura, that means cruel work needs to be done, things which others don't want to do. Cruel work such as, you know, like <clears throat> asking money from people and all of these things. Security, etc. Police army. Mirgashira, Chitra, Jeshta, Danishta, job. Servitude. So job should be done in Barni, Asilesha, Vishaka, Shravan, Chandal, Nakshatra. Uncommon things which people generally don't do. Right, like taking taking care of corpses, etc. 
chandalakan what is you know what generally people will not want to do but someone does because it is their task so cleaning the floor wiping and all of this sanitary works and all of these things so generally people by will they don't want to do but if they don't have any option they will that's no right so this is also used in profession you see a lot of uh nakshatra significations are used in profession this is because of this particular reason that in earlier times it seems like that the decidence of profession is very necessary which profession the person should choose because the profession will decide the success or otherwise of the native so which profession the person should choose was given much importance in the previous life pre sorry in earlier times because if one chooses a bad profession their life will be bad this is needless to say the basic point is ancient people were very practical people this is related to gender male female etc generally it indicates the tendency you know the tendency right if someone is born in you say aslesha nakshatra one will have female tendencies of love care right talking sharing things these female tendencies one is supposed to have based on the nakshatras of the fifth lord in prashna generally you can decide the gender of the child also natal chart the you cannot decide if the fifth lord goes into aslesha the person will have only female children cannot have male children this is So this cannot be said as such, but in Prashna it can be safely used. And as I told you, all the significations of Rashi and all the significations of Nakshatras they are best used in Prashna. So should be used. In natal chart also you see, Ashwini is a male Nakshatra, Aslesha is a female Nakshatra. If the Ashwini person is married to an Aslesha person, then because the Nakshatra mismatches, they are male female. the tendencies of the couple will not match our approach is very simple match female with female male with male so this is day to day approach which is very essential so in match making in nature in habit this becomes very important right this is the point right getting my point sanjay ji want to ask something no sir i am i am thanking for this uh, new tip you will think another tip for matchmaking also <laughs> <laughs> matchmaking is both i will tell you matchmaking bahut mazedar hai kuch kuch aisi cheeze hoti hain in this world there are few things which are like matchmaking you know which can you see which can differentiate someone who knows to someone who don't know match making is one such area like I, i love those questions whom you can ask to someone and based on their answer you can know a lot about these people anyone any question match making is also such thing a successful person astrologer who know who have done some very good predictions who himself leads a good life believe in match making and remedies those who don't don't believe so it was a mazak topic ki those who have a very bad life they don't believe in these things because they have not been change, been able to change it and those who believe are the other on the other side so match making is a uh, very important this is thanks to abilasha we just i just wanted to cover this andamand kan solution do i drop the idea after we did that panchang class i just drop the idea but she said that this is a very lucrative topic we should cover i said chalo theek hai then we should cover because at the end of the day this becomes very difficult to decide what to teach and what not 
because then I can go on teaching to you, but still. Coming back to our point, 